Today we're doing a quick run through of some of the improvements to the RC Sketcher component. You can see here that we've built and it's now available in our new toolbar which is available straight from Rhino Package Manager. And some of the improvements are making it quite a bit easier to use and quicker. And also one of the requested features is a bar bending schedule and which you can export into a spreadsheet quite easily. So we'll run through that today. Okay, I'll just quickly show the new features of the RC Sketcher. So I've got two lines there set multiple curves in this curve component and then I want to add it to the RC Sketcher which you can get from this toolbar now so that's available in Rhino Package Manager you can install it straight away and I'll just drag the curves into the component and you can see there you've got two reinforced members that's just just using the default reinforcement layout you can obviously change all the values here, so how many bars, top and bottom sides, how many leaks or um, stirrups, uh, depending on how you call them in your country. <laughs> and um, I can obviously change all the values, so I won't do it too much, but I'll just say I made that a uh, 1,000 deep member and I wanted to change it into a wall, for example, instead. I just put that into rebar layout. And you can see it uses a wall type of layout rather than a member. I'll just add a loose bar so you can see in the schedule, which I'll do in a minute. So I'll tell it which curves I want to add the additional loose bars. And you just add the loose bar, drag it into the sketcher. You can see I've got a, a straight additional loose bar there, but I actually want that to be a hook bar. So one new thing we've added here is rebar shapes. So you can just plonk that into your uh, graph here. And you just, can just quickly see the codes for the different shapes along with their um, A, B, C, D uh, measurements. So say I want an L bar, that's shape 12. I just change the shape code to 12. That should become a, an L bar at the end there, which it has been. And uh, obviously I can change the position so I can move it up left and right or make it stick out. Won't do that here. So a feature that's been added now is the bending bar schedule. So how you use this is just output to the panel it's just a text in csv comma separated value format so i'll just plug that into a panel there and like any other grasshopper component it's always live so it's constantly updating so you can see all the values are there which i'll put into a spreadsheet but I'll just show you that, um, say I made that one member, you can see it, it updates straight away. So it's live depending on the input. So how you get this into a spreadsheet, you just simply right click and say, give it a destination. So I'll call it BBS dot comma separated values, CSV, save. Then you have to say stream contents, turn it on and turn it off. So that'll create a file, which is right there. If I double click that. I'm not using Excel, but it's a spreadsheet here. Same thing, Excel will do it the same. And you can see it just opens up into a spreadsheet. And it gives you these fields here. So <clears throat> serial number, which is um, 1 to 10 or one, a number for each member. There's two members, so there's member 1 and member 2. Gives it a bar mark for each bar, and each bar has its 
its various um, diameter, the cutting length for each bar, the shape code, so the three straight bars are code 0, the ligs or stirrups are code 51, and the L bar that we had at the end, which they both had an L bar, was code 12. Then you got your A, B, C, D, E, F values, which are the measurements, and the number of bars, so four top bars, four bottom bars, eight side bars, 15 legs or stirrups, and one L bar each. And then finally, you've got the unit weight, so that's the weight of just the bar itself, and the weight of four number of those bars. So that's the bending bar schedule. So now I'll run through a quick demo showing how quickly you can sketch up the reinforcement for a basement in this greenfield site here. Demo. So I'm going to start off, I've just drawn a couple of lines here I'm going to use. Um, the first two lines are the edge of the basement. So I've just used a couple of basic components to draw some piles in. So I can obviously control the center and, and the radius of them. If I just add them to the RC sketcher here, that's going to draw all the reinforcement for the piles. And the next thing they'd want to do is draw in the pole cap. So that's those lines again. And you can see it's drawn in all the reinforcement for the pole cap. So if I cut away that section, you can see you've got all your piles there and your reinforcement pile cap. We also need some, we'd also put in piles for a couple of columns in the basement. So I just added them in there. And then the next thing is we can go through once we've excavated down because all that soil's retained then we can put in a base slab so i'll just drag that in there and that's the slab reinforcement then we want to put in a band beam so i'll just put that in here Now you've got your 2.4 meter wide band beam. And finally, add a slab in to top it off. So you can see pretty quickly we've got all the reinforcement drawn for this scenario. You can obviously bake this off um, and have it non parametric so you can send it to the architect or the builder. And the whole time, if you want to go back and see that this bending bar schedule is being generated. So now we have a complete bending bar schedule for that whole section of structure pretty quickly and easily. So hopefully um, people find that useful. Let us know if you have any comments or suggestions on this script and we'll keep working on it and making improvements. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.